talent compare. Um, so again, this could be a little bit better, raid bots. Um, it knows what your talents are. Ah! Your talent, stop, stop, stop. Your talents are right here. It gives you a, this awesome code. What the code means is for the first row of talents, it's one, two, three. And then it's just numbers on down. So for my particular spec that I'm running right now, it's two, a whole bunch of ones, and then two. And so it actually looks like this. So two, a whole bunch of ones, and two. And it, it'll give you the, the code right here for you. Now, when you wanna come in and look at your talents, please keep in mind that you are comparing your talents for one fight style. So if you're doing single target down here, you're probably gonna wanna be doing single target up here. Um, the only th scenario that I can come up with where you would wanna test out an AOE spec on single target or a single target spec on AOE is if your plan was to not change your spec no matter what boss you were in a, on in a raid. So you're gonna use the same spec for sisters that you would use for Harjaton, for example. Um, if that's your plan, this would be a good place to come and find out, is that like a realistic plan or should maybe you be fi you know, fine tuning your AOE spec versus your single target spec. But anyway, um, so this is this here is the current spec that I am running. Um, Hunter, is, Beastmaster Hunter is in a weird place right now. We actually have three viable specs, um, depending on your gear and some other factors um, for single target. So another viable um, single target spec is this guy. So you can see up here the, the numbers have changed. I'm actually going to change the name because the numbers get kind of wonky. So I'm going to call this Dire Frenzy BCL Fury. Yeah, that makes sense. And then the third one is basically the, the same thing, but depending on what you're wearing, it could be aspect of the oops of the beast which is this guy back down here he's a little bit weird so these the one that I have on plus this one plus this one these are all considered viable um, single target specs so if you hit compare talents it's gonna run just like um, essentially like running three gear sets and it's gonna say, okay, for the gear that I'm currently wearing, this is the spec that I should be running. If I wanna take a, probably a real hit on my DPS, I could switch to the Dire Frenzy. Um, and if I just wanna throw my DPS in the trash, I am welcome to take Aspect of the Beast. I must have skipped. Oh. The blinding shot is not a DPS talent, it's a, it's a stun, so I must have left that guy out when I was running him, and post haste as well. So again, those aren't actual DPS talents, they're not going to affect my final numbers. Um, I've kind of harped on it a lot. Again, if you are um, cognizant of what people are talking about in your class and spec community a lot of times you'll know why these talents are good um, this talent this talent section is going to come out higher for me because I'm still wearing the two piece tier 19 and my crit is really high so as long as I'm doing those two things this is my talent choice if I go back and I get that cloak and I get the engine and I find somebody to give me a, ring, a necklace that's not total crap. Um, once I get that stuff on and my tier 19 is gone, I need to come back and run a talent sim and find out because I, I can almost guarantee that I will need to switch to this one with the Dire Frenzy. Um, 
because that's what I see people talking about in my community. So I, I am on the lookout for if I ever get to that point with my gear, I do need to come back and check for myself that, you know, the talent thing needs to change or maybe it doesn't. And that's one thing to kind of keep in mind as well. Your gear and your talents are not this completely separate and these two entities that have no interaction. They're very much dependent on one another. Um, if you start throwing in like, you know, the, the legendary that gives you the extra uh, talent, the extra, you know, then you need to make sure that when you're running everything that you aren't double dipping on that talent because then you're not going to get real numbers. So you really kind of have to look at the big picture um, as long as you know that you're, you're probably not going to change your talents and that sort of thing, you could run as many iterations on your gear as you want, but just be aware of what could happen if you make some major changes. So I'm going to bounce. That's all I had for, um, talents. I mean, there's really, you can play with all of it all day and, um, kind of do whatever you like with it. Yeah, I totally forgot those, but they don't matter anyway. Um, you can try out all kinds of stuff. Uh, I came in here when we were working on, um, who was it? We were working on somebody that I, my AOE was really crappy. And I came in here and I ran a bunch of AOE talent simulations until I could get to the one that gave me my best chance at um, doing better DPS. Still not great, but at least better. <laughs> 